What's up ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> if you're new here, my name is Black Buns. We're gonna be playing Um Life is Strange. The first one. It's gonna be lit. Never played it. I don't I'm not really one hundred percent sure what this game is about. I'll play the second one. And the second one was lit. Let's see if the first one is I, I feel like like people say that the first one is better. I don't know. Let's find out. On the new episode of Dragon Ball Z. Shit. I literally put my controller close to my balls. And you know how the PlayStation 5 vibrates? What the fuck? <laughs> In the thunder. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. I literally, I felt. <laughs> I feel the vibration on my... On my goofy nuts. Okay, this thunder is kind of bad. It's kind of bad, anyone? though. What's happening? She bad as fuck. Well. <clears throat> it's raining like hell here. I'm trapped in a storm? How did I get here? And where is here? There's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. Okay. Remember, guys, this is a seven year old game and it's not looking too bad, bro. It's looking clean. Looking clean as I've been. Holy shit. Damn. Lighthouse is safe. Oh shit. That was so surreal. Mostly called film little pieces of time. Bro, I had dreams like this before. But he could be talking about school. photography as he likely was. Okay. So I'm in class. Everything's cool. So I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. <laughs> now, can you give me an example of a photographer so who perfectly captured the human condition in black? <laughs> I didn't fall asleep and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Go, Victoria. Oh, this is Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. My name and is Max. Max. Has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Since when you Your generation is not the first to use images for I mean, selfie. I mean, I expression. say it all the time. Sorry. I couldn't resist. Not from a teacher. The Actually, point I remains heard. that the portraiture Actually, has always it. been a Many vital times. aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, what? Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. What the first American Daguerreotype self portrait to, was done by Robert Cornelius. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? No, he's got a whole diary here. Description of all. Y'all can read that. I'm not gonna read all that. Pause that. Pause. 
Got a cell phone, we got that a cave mom. Morning. Oh, okay. You can find out all about him in your textbook. Or even I can't believe I still have this pencil. Okay. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted oh, by the art shit. world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Hmm. This class kind of lame, dog. Yes, Victoria. Victoria you doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody mm -hmm. in class. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. <laughs> I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young Why and the is world she is showing yours, her ass blah, like blah, that, blah, man. right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Okay. For why she's standing like a whole Every time hooker. I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Huh. This might make a cool shot. Huh. This might make a cool shot. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. <laughs> yeah, sophomore? That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. It's all right. It's all right, mate. Hi, Kate. Oh, hi, Max. Kate, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. Okay, do, can I just fucking leave? <laughs> Literally, let me out. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive Moment by Henry Cartier-Bresson. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Another dream. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. Damn. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. I I think I'm out there, bitch. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You you welcome to the real. <laughs> yeah, I was about to. Ha. Huh. Then okay. I might send you a special it's kind of bad. I think that's a teacher, though. <laughs> Yo, I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. Oh, God, that shit lame. She's so fucking shy. Oh, God, this is me every day when I used to go to school. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, did I mean when I go to school? It's a summer break. Who this man tall, bro? What the fuck? What's wrong with you? 
Oh damn, you're bullied, I'm over. <laughs> Let me help ya. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. Bro, I promise you, you will not hear me listen to this song in the, in the hallway. Bro, I'm just gonna get copyrighted, bro. Oh my mama, bro. Take that fucking music off, bro. What's so wrong with you? I already got copyrighted. I don't give a shit no more. Fuck, man. I need to go splash some water on some my face bullshit. and freshen up first. Where the fuck is the bathroom? Man, I got copyrighted, man. What the fuck? It is what it is. Go Bigfoot. You guys know where the fucking bathroom at? I don't seem to figure it out. Bro, what the fuck? He's still bullying that kid. It's, Max is like 30 seconds wrong. You ain't gotta do all that. Oh, there it is. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. Oh, what the fuck is this bathroom? This looks like a whole jail bathroom. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. That picture you have be gone, a huh? gift. <clears throat> Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. It's cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. What? You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. Damn. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. <laughs> I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Can I turn back time? What is their power? Oh, shit! Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can in, that be? Yo, I'm back I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us I already heard this lecture. From light 
to show. Oh, this is lit. From we can turn back time. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, <gasps> Shit! Can you give me an example of a Man, photographer? I cannot believe this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller? Diane. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? You why? No way. This is awesome. I did it. Can you give I me actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured I'm a human, the human time machine. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't Diane. freak out. Not yet. You go, Victoria. When I took my Boris. selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie. Oh, a dumb shit. word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. You all know it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl selfie. isn't dead yet? The point Can I save her? Thank you, dear, always bro. been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me he after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> what if I rewind the again process, and give him the right answer? Yeah, I want to do that. I think I'm Max, using it. since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. Really no, dog. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far My away. pencil case is still... And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll this be fed by the art world. It's great exposure it's awesome. and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. What a photographer needs hide. is I'm still waiting time. for entry too. And yes, Max, the perfect time I see you pretending film. not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. I wish I could go talk to Mr. Jefferson about what's going on. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max? Don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. All right, bruh. What? Homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars the point avoid of doing that? handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that 
Life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. I already know, Make sure bro. you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I know. Rewind would be nice in school. I'm even gonna cap. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Rewind will come okay, Cox, in retrace school. every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come don't on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. Wow, sir, it's happening again. I need a hammer to break it open. Hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Are people trying to control me? You are going to get in hella more trouble for... Hold up, I need more time. Never tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever. I need a hammer to break it open. Fuck! You got a hammer, bitch. No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Another shitty day. Hmm. <laughs> that did not happen. This cannot be real. That's awesome. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. That's hey, crazy as fuck. Do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. <laughs> or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Damn. What's your problem, cut? Shoot your ass, boy. Stop playing with me. No, appreciate it, big dog. Are you the principal? Cause you lit. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm, I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be upfront with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then, then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Okay, Please bro. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family own... Blackwell. What the hell is Blackwell? Someone let me know what the fuck that is. Because he owns the Blackwell. 
What the hell? Oh, he owns the school. Blackwell economy. My bad. Would Nathan Prescott please come to the front office? Thank you. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. Facts. I wonder what happened to her. She was 19. <laughs> wonder what happened. It's crazy nowadays, you know. Someone texted me. It says, hello. And saying they, I'll meet you in a lot looking cool. See you shortly. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. To the what? Who's this guy, Nathan? Uh, racist. I don't know. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm stupid. I don't know. Man, why the fuck did I say that? I don't know nothing about that. I'm sorry. What the fuck is this? Hey, yo, shorty. Come on, Logan. Bring it, bro. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Okay. No. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. Oh. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the Still answers, for the I line. guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, hold that pose. Yeah. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Okay, so we gotta walk around. Nice, bro. No. How the fuck we get? You gotta be shitting me. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Okay, let's see if this works. See if that works. Basically, the paint is gonna fall. If it works. Close, but no cigar. 
They have to be right Jesus. under the bucket. What the hell? Thanks so much for almost ruining my outfit. You're so lucky that didn't fall on us. We'd see your ass so fast. Think, Max. Rewind and find something. That looks so awkward to do that, to be honest. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I, I can't grab that. Samuel is way too close. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. How the fuck would crank it? What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. None shall pass. Capiche? Gotta do it again. Can I? Man, why, why won't these bitches let me pass, bro? Do you understand English? Get lost. Sorry, no paparazzi allowed. No. Sorry, no paparazzi allowed. Hold on, I can actually do something here. That's what we can do. It's so smart. Okay, let's see if this works. Oh shit, what would I... Why the fuck did it rewind? Okay. I still can't handle this power. Okay, let's see if this works. We can't handle the power of the gods. Yet. Oh shit, my bad. My bad, cut. Looks about the right time. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Okay. In no time, the paint was shit to fall, right? Sweet. No way! No fucking mm -hmm. way, Victoria! Mm -hmm. Oh, Samuel, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Hmm. Awesome. Uh, hey, no. Victoria. What do you want, Max? Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. Hmm. And no filter oh, needed before I post dude. this. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that, 
I know where you live. So does Nathan. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to get to my... This action will have a consequence. Bitch, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> what room is my room? Hurry, Courtney! Max room. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. Ladies and gentlemen, I think this is gonna be the it for today. I hope you like, subscribe, and enjoy. And I see you on the next one. Peace.